This article discusses the phonological system of the Czech language. Topic: <laughs> Consonants. The following chart shows a complete list of the consonant phonemes of Czech. One the phoneme r written is a raised alveolar non-sonorant trill. Its rarity makes it difficult to produce for foreign learners of Czech, who may pronounce it as r. However, it contrasts with r in words like erzit to ne, which is pronounced differently from rad r, a t order. The basic realization of this phoneme is voiced, but it is voiceless r when preceded or followed by a voiceless consonant or at the end of a word. T and D can be pronounced as dental stops. The voiceless realization of the phoneme is velar x. Topic: Glottal stop. The glottal stop is not a separate phoneme. Its use is optional and it may appear as the onset of an otherwise vowel initial syllable. The pronunciation with or without the glottal stop does not affect the meaning and is not distinctive. The glottal stop has two functions in Czech. The emphasis on the boundaries between words or in compound words is usually inserted between two vowels which do not form a diphthong, e.g. puzavat puivat to use, ta ta a mama ta ta a ma ma dad and mum, it separates prepositions from words beginning with a vowel, e.g. z o k n a s o k n a out of the window, it is also inserted before initial vowels of the second part of compound words, e.g. trojuhelnik trojulike triangle. This usage of the glottal stop is usual in Bohemia. Pronunciation without it is typical of Moravian regions, e.g., troju li k, zokna. Both variants are regarded as correct. Certain words can be emphasized by the use of the glottal stop. In the standard pronunciation, the glottal stop is never inserted between two vowels in words of foreign origin, e.g., in the word koala. Marginal consonant phonemes The phonemes, f, and per gram, and the affricates, d, z, and d, usually occur in words of foreign origin or dialects only. However, may also occur as a result of voicing assimilation of, k, c, assimilation of voice. Below, phonetically, the affricates can occur at morpheme boundaries see consonant merging below. Topic. Consonants in the script Other consonants are represented by the same characters letters as in the IPA. Topic. Consonant assimilation Realizations of consonant phonemes are influenced by their surroundings. The position of phonemes in words can modify their phonetic realizations without a change of the meaning. Topic: Assimilation of the place of articulation. Labiodental is a realization of per meter before labiodental fricatives f and v, e.g., in the word trambach travaj tramway. Velar is a realization of n before velar stops k and e.g. in the word banka baka bank, the former assimilation is optional while the latter is obligatory. Realization of the former as tramvaj is thus possible, especially in more prestigious registers, whereas realization of the latter as banka is considered hypercorrect, and hence incorrect. Topic. Assimilation of voice Assimilation of voice is an important feature of Czech pronunciation. Voiced obstruents are, in certain circumstances, realized voiceless and vice versa. It is not represented in orthography, where more etymological principles are applied. Assimilation of voice applies in these circumstances. In consonant groups, all obstruents in the group are realized either voiced or voiceless. It is mostly governed by the last consonant in the group regressive assimilation, e.g. rostok rostok solution. Voiced obstruents are realized voiceless in the pre-pausal position final devoicing. 
Compare lead elt ice ledu eldu ice gen versus let elt flight ledu l2 flight gen. The nominative forms of both words led let are pronounced the same due to final devoicing in the first, but in the other inflection forms their pronunciation differs. Voiced and voiceless obstruents form pairs in which the assimilation of voice applies. See table. Sonorants per meter n, j, r, and l have no voiceless counterparts and are never devoiced. They do not cause the voicing of voiceless consonants in standard pronunciation, e.g. Sledovat to watch. There are some exceptions to the rules described above. The phoneme, v, also does not cause the voicing of preceding voiceless consonants that is, it acts as a sonorant before vowels, e.g. svetlo svijetlo light. However, v, followed by a voiceless consonant is also realized voiceless, e.g. vsa dit fsat to bet. The phonemes x, written ch, and written h form a special voice pair even though the places of articulation differ, e.g. vrh vrx a throw vrhu vru a throw gen. The phoneme x, followed by a voiced obstruent can be realized as either or, e.g. abich bile ab bl so that I would. The phoneme undergoes progressive assimilation after s in bohemian pronunciation, e.g. na shladano na sxeldano, goodbye, whereas standard regressive assimilations are typical of Moravian pronunciation, na zeldano. The phoneme r does not cause assimilations of adjacent consonants, but it undergoes progressive as well as regressive assimilation according to its surroundings, e.g. pre pr by. Its basic realization is voiced. In final position, it is voiceless. Topic. Consonant merging Two identical consonant phonemes or allophones can meet in morpheme boundaries during word formation. In many cases, especially in suffixes, two identical consonant sounds merge into one sound in pronunciation, e.g. seni t, sni valuable, meki emki soft. In prefixes and composite words, lengthened or doubled pronunciation gemination is obvious. It is necessary in cases of different words, nejaznesi the clearest versus neasnesi more unclear. Doubled pronunciation is perceived as hypercorrect in cases like t, sni or maki. Combinations of stops, d, t, c, and fricatives, s, z, usually produce affricates t, s, d, z, t, d, detski t, ski children's. Both phonemes are pronounced separately in careful pronunciation, t dot ski. Vowels There are ten monophthongal and three diphthongal vowel phonemes in Czech, i, o, a, o, o, u, u, e, u, o, o. Czech is a quantity language, it differentiates five vowel qualities that occur as both phonologically short and long. The short and long counterparts generally do not differ in their quality, although long vowels may be more peripheral than short vowels, as for the high front vowel pair, i, i, there are dialectal differences with respect to phonetic realization of the contrast. In the Bohemian variety of Czech, the two vowels are differentiated by both quality and duration, while in the Eastern Moravian variety of Czech the primary difference is that of duration. Therefore, in the Bohemian variety, the transcription i more accurately reflects the trade-off between the qualitative and the durational difference in these vowels, while in the Eastern Moravian variety of Czech, the transcription I, I captures the primary durational difference. Besides length, Czech differentiates three degrees of height and three degrees of backness. Vowel modifications such as nasalization do not occur in Czech. The vowels are never reduced and undergo no assimilations. Vowel length and quality is independent of the stress. Topic. Short vowels is spelled I and Y is spelled E and E A is spelled A O is spelled O U is spelled U Topic. Long vowels Long vowels are indicated by an acute accent or a ring I is spelled I and Y is spelled A A is spelled A O is spelled O This phoneme occurs almost exclusively in words of foreign origin. 
U, is spelled U and U with the former only used when it is the first letter of an unbound morpheme, as well as in loanwords and onomatopoeia. Diphthongs <inaudible> 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 O is spelled O occurs almost exclusively in words of foreign origin. EU is spelled EU occurs in words of foreign origin only. O is spelled out phonemes. O and O are sometimes transcribed and. This transcription describes the pronunciation in central Bohemia and Prague, which is more open. The standard pronunciation is something between O and IE mid back vowel. Note that E is not a separate vowel. It simply denotes after a palatal stop or palatal nasal, e.g. Nico, so after per meter, e.g. Meki per meter key, and j after other labial consonants, e.g. b's, bj's. The vowel sequences ia, ie, e, io, and u in foreign words are not diphthongs. They are pronounced with an epithetic j between the vowels ja, j, j, jo, ju. Topic Prosody Topic Stress The stress is nearly always fixed to the first syllable of a word. Exceptions One syllable prepositions usually form a unit with following words. Therefore, the stress moves to the prepositions Praha, Prague, do prehi to Prague. This rule is not always applied in words which have four or more syllables, e.g. either na kolonade or na kolonade on the colonnade are possible. Some one-syllable words e.g. me, me, t, you, to, it, say, see, oneself, jsem, am, jsi, are, etc. are clitics. They are not stressed and form a unit with preceding words, therefore they cannot be the first words in standard sentences. Example, napsal jsemt ten dopus I have written the letter to you, see check word order for details. Long words can have the secondary stress which is mostly placed on every odd syllable, e.g. ne.kra acute s, ne, c, the most beautiful. However, in some cases it can be placed on the fourth syllable, e.g. ne, z, la, ne, c, the greenest. The stress has no lexical or phonological function, it denotes boundaries between words but does not distinguish word meanings. It has also no influence on the quality or quantity of vowels, i.e. the vowels are not reduced in unstressed syllables and can be both short and long regardless of the stress. Thus, the Czech rhythm can be considered as isosyllabic. <laughs> Intonation Czech is not a tonal language. Tones or melodies are not lexical distinctive features. However, intonation is a distinctive feature on the level of sentences. Tone can differentiate questions from simple messages, as it need not necessarily be indicated by the word order. Onto Udalal, he did it. Onto Udalal, did he do it? Onto Udalal, he did it. All these sentences have the same lexical and grammatical structure. The differences are in their intonation. Topic. Phonotactics Open syllables of type 105 are the most abundant in Czech texts. It is supposed that all syllables were open in the Proto-Slavic language. Syllables without consonant onset occur with a relatively little frequency. Using the glottal stop as a pressure in such syllables confirms this tendency in the pronunciation of Bohemian speakers. In common Czech, the most widespread Czech interdialect, prothetic V is added to all words beginning with O in standard Czech, e.g. voko instead of oko I. The general structure of Czech syllables is C C C C C V C C C C consonant V, vowel or syllabic consonant This Czech word can have up to five consonants in the initial group e vizkvit, and three consonants in the final group not including syllabic consonants. The syllabic nucleus is usually formed by vowels or diphthongs, but in some cases syllabic sonorants, r, and, l, rarely also per meter, and, n, can be found in the nucleus, e.g. vilk vl, k, wolf, krk, kr, k, neck, osm, osm, 8. Vowel groups can occur in the morpheme boundaries. 
They cannot include more than two vowels. Both vowels in the groups are separate syllabic nuclei and do not form diphthongs. Topic: <laughs> Morphophonology. Phoneme alternations in morphophonemes, changes which do not affect morpheme meaning, are frequently applied in inflections and derivations. They are divided into vowel and consonant alternations. Both types can be combined in a single morpheme. Niha, ka, ka, book. V nice, vix, fux in a book. Niska, ki ka, ki ka, little book. Topic: Vowel alternations. The most important alternations are those of short and long phonemes. Some of these alternations are correlative, i.e. the phonemes in pairs differ in their length only. Due to historical changes in some phonemes, o, u, u, o, similar to the great vowel shift in English, some alternations are disjunctive, i.e. the phonemes in pairs are different in more features. These alternations occur in word roots during inflections and derivations, and they also affect prefixes in derivations. Some other disjunctive vowel alternations occur in word roots during derivations, rarely also during inflections. A stasny happy stesty happiness vache egg v a j e c eggs gen. O veze is carrying vozi carries. A i rat to warm zaravat to warm up. A otrast to shake otras tremor. A o virabet to produce viroba production. I, zayichiche, do, zajik, hair, emergence, disappearance alternations also take place, i.e. vowels alternate with null phonemes. In some allomorphs, is inserted between consonants in order to make the pronunciation easier. Matka, mother, matek, mother's gen, les, lie, z, lies, it also occurs in some prepositions which have vocalized positional variants, v dome, in a house, ve vode, in water, s tabu, with you, say mnou, with me, etc. Some other alternations of this type occur, but they are not so frequent. Vipsat to write out vipus abstract. Vitenout to reproach once vitecat to reproach ubrat to take away once uberat to take away. Examples of verb pairs with perfective and imperfective aspects. U suhi dry schnaut to become dry. Topic consonant alternation alternations of hard and soft consonants represent the most abundant type. They occur regularly in word stem final consonants before certain suffixes in derivations and endings in inflections. Hard consonants are softened if followed by soft written or i written i and i acute not y and y acute. These changes also occur before some other suffixes e.g. ka. Softening can be both correlative and disjunctive. The last 5 examples are emergence alternations. A phoneme j or is inserted in the pronunciation, but for the historical reasons, these changes are indicated by in the orthography see the orthographic notes below. These alternations are analogical with softening alternations, therefore they are mentioned here. They also occur in word roots together with vowel alternations usually I. Some other alternations occur but they are not so frequent. They are often little evident. P. Topit say, tone out, to be drowning, both words. B. Zahibit to be turning, zonout to take a turn. P. Vlekt to carry, oblekt to dress. Topic: <laughs> Orthographic notes. In some letter groups, phonological principles of the Czech orthography are broken. Topic: <laughs> Sample. The sample text is a reading of the first sentence of the North Wind and the Sun by a native speaker of common Czech, who is from Prague. Topic: <laughs> Phonemic transcription. Svera k a slunt s s a dal do z x j shli. Topic: Phonetic transcription. Svera k a sunt s s a da do z x j she. Topic: Orthographic version. 
Severika slunce se hadali, kdo z nich je silnější. See also Czech alphabet, Czech declension, Czech language, Czech orthography, Czech verb, History of the Czech language.